Hey everybody, it's Amanda and it's time for Frugal Family Food and of course this is the last week of date night at home and I am going to have a date with Rick. And like most busy families, we do not get dinner time together. Normally dinner times with the whole family. If we want to have a date at home, it has to be in the evening after everybody's gone to bed or doing their own thing. So we are going to, instead of having a dinner meal, we are going to have some snacks, just some late night snacks that we're going to have together and just spend some time together after everybody's gone to bed and hang out and like watch a movie or something. <laughs> so, so I'm making some snacks today for you guys. And I get asked about snacks a lot, like what kind of things we make for our family. So I'm going to show you two things that we make sometimes for our family. Um, popcorn, first of all, which we make a lot and raspberry sorbet. Now I'm going to go ahead and start the raspberry sorbet this morning um, because it takes several hours to set up. So I'm going to show you how to get it started and then we're going to go out and run some errands and then later this evening, right before we get some time to hang out, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the sorbet and make the popcorn and then Rick and I are going to go hang out. So anyway, right behind me you can see where I have the setup happening. Let me show you what I got going on. Okay, so right here I have four cups of frozen raspberries. Right behind it I have two-thirds cup of granulated sugar. I have a pie plate. I have about a cup of boiling water. Actually, it's been sitting here a minute. I'm gonna have to throw it on the stove and let it boil a minute longer. And I have some lemon essential oil. I actually um, was gonna use some drops of lemon juice, but I realized I was out. No problem, a drop of lemon essential oil will do the job. So we're gonna get all of this, put it in the blender, puree it up, set it in the pie plate, and then it is going to go in the freezer right here for about three hours. So let me get this together. How pretty that is. You want to make sure it's pureed really well. So just uh, run your spatula in there and make sure you don't have any chunks because for sorbet it's got to be really really well pureed. So anyway this looks good. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my pie plate right here and I didn't butter it or anything just, just put it straight in there. We're going we're gonna to cut everything out. It's going to be perfect once it freezes. Okay, there it is in the freezer and it's going to sit here for a couple of hours and then we'll check on it here in a little while. Just a word on that, you don't have to cover it because like I said, we're going to do something else with it here in a, in a little bit. Um, you can use, if you don't want to use a pie plate, a lot of folks use a bread pan. Um, I just don't have a bread pan that I want to put in my freezer, so that's why I didn't use that. A pie pan works just fine. Yeah, that's it. So, <laughs> so I'm to make sure I covered any questions you might have. So. We're gonna go out and get some things done and we'll be back in a little while to finish up. Okay, it is just about nine o'clock at night and kids are in their room. You might even hear them from time to time. And I went ahead and I pulled the raspberry sorbet out of the freezer. Look at that, looks good, right? I pulled it out a little early to see if it'll thaw or thawed a little bit. So I can go ahead and chop all of this up and put it in this food processor. So if you actually take it out of the freezer and you don't have time, you can just run hot water over it and under it to kind of loosen it up a little bit. But I'm basically just gonna chop it up and put it in there. So um, I'm gonna put it in the food processor and process it again so it's nice and smooth and that's gonna be our raspberry sorbet. Let me show you what I do. Okay, so it took a few times. 
I had to keep stirring it up with my spoon. You can see I have my spoon ready and just kind of push it down. But let me show you what it looks like when it's done. Look at that. It's beautiful. It has that nice creamy texture. I'm going to get my spoon here so you can see it that you would expect from a sorbet, but it's still nice and thick. So I'm gonna take this out of here and spoon it into my plastic container and it'll be ready to eat. Okay, that is so beautiful, guys. I'm going to put this in the freezer just to keep it nice and thick while we get the popcorn ready. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to make popcorn on the stove. It is so easy. I'm shocked that everybody doesn't do it. Here's how I do it. I have a pan and luckily I have a pan with a see-through glass lid, so it actually makes it really easy. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of vegetable oil. It's usually about a tablespoon or two. I eyeball it. And I just want enough. You want to come over here? Mm -hmm. I just want enough to fill the bottom of the pan. Just a little layer on the bottom of the pan. Then the next thing you want to do, this is just how I do it, is you want to put two kernels of popcorn, just two, in the pan. Put the lid on and turn it on high. Now the reason why you put two kernels in the pan is so you know when the oil is hot enough to pour the rest of the popcorn in. You want it to be hot enough to pop those two kernels. Now occasionally you have a dud, so you put two in just to make sure that you don't have a dud piece of popcorn. So there are two in there. I have it on high. I'm standing right here. Do not leave this on the stove. And we're just gonna keep an eye on it and wait until these two pieces of popcorn pop and then we'll do the next step. By the way, if it starts to kind of sound like it's getting really, really hot, you might want to give it a little shake. Okay, it's kind of getting hot and I just, oh, there's one that popped. You caught it on camera, yay. All right, so here's what you're gonna do. Now that it's hot enough, we're gonna pour in, uh, first of all, you're gonna turn this heat down to about five and a half, six. And we're going to pour this popcorn in. I'm going to pass this phone off the rick so that it covers the bottom. Come take this really fast. Take it, take it, take it. Gotcha. And... Oh, there it is. You can see how much I put in. If, if, if it laid flat, it would just barely cover the bottom there. Steam. And it does steam up, but we don't need to see it. And we just need to there let it... Is. Yep, they're popping. That's why you need the lid, and I'm just going to shake it every few seconds because I don't want it to get too hot. Like 4th of July. Mm -hmm. It's just like those old-fashioned ones that you would get at the grocery store, you know, when you would um, get a little aluminum foil one and it would blow up really big. It's exactly the same thing. I kind of leave it, lift it a little bit above the stove, even. Okay, it sounds like it stopped popping, like there's no more in there. So we're gonna take it over here to the bowl. This is where it can get messy, guys. All right, so I, I try to put it this way. Ooh, grease. That's just a little bit of um, uh, moisture on the okay. lid. So <laughs> I try to keep it like this at first, because as you can see, it'll still pop for a little while. Yeah. But um, there it is, it's Ooh. gonna go pouring it. And see, sometimes it pops, so you wanna kind of have some stand and guard. But I think we're good. I think we popped all of it. Good. And there. And you can see there's no oil left in the bottom. We just Ooh. cooked it all out. There's some little dud pieces there. And so we'll just take that and move that out of the way. And that's what that made, just a little bit. Now, I'm going to put the lid on here. Here's what you do with this. I always sprinkle... Ooh, that was a lot of uh, salt. And I also sprinkle garlic powder. Now, here's what I want to say. Okay, I just want to say one thing. We cooked this in oil. So we've already got a fat in there. Believe it or not, it's going to have a buttery flavor without adding any butter. So go against all of the things that are in your heart and don't add butter. <laughs> That's not what you want with this. The oil, the salt, and the garlic powder just give it a little flavor, and it's going to taste really, really good. So this is what I do. I just take my hands, go ahead down here, and I just kind of stir it up. 
And that's it. That's all that you do to make homemade popcorn. It is so simple and it's really crisp. This is so crisp. It's not, you know, when you pour butter on it, it gets all melty and it doesn't taste very good. This is delicious. This is one of my husband's favorite. He's holding the camera and he can't have me. But it's really, really good. And I promise you, try it like this before you try anything else. And you will see that it tastes really good and you don't need to add butter. Okay, okay so that's it. It's our date night at home. We've got some snacks. We're going to go hang out and watch something. I don't know, probably more YouTube. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> anyway, we're just going to have some snacks while we do that. So. Um... Now I'm going to tell you. Oh, no. <laughs> now I thought something good was going to happen. Okay. <laughs> okay? Because I woke up early this morning. Okay. And there was a wind in the east. <laughs> okay. You, you hear me? I hear you. There was a mist coming in. Was there? Yeah, like something was brewing. <laughs> I okay. Okay? Okay. It was about to begin. <laughs> okay. Now I'm looking at this spread you got. Yeah. And I'm telling you, I know my wife made it. It's practically perfect. <laughs> In every In way? every way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, oh, that's goofy. <laughs> no, I thought it was great. But I, I will tell you this. I, I don't know what she prepared. But I'm hoping the snacks are something that, that just... I'm looking for something maybe a little, little sour, a little tart. That's what I like. You follow <laughs> I like you follow me on this one. I like I like things that'll bite you back, you know, sour. And and I have found that all you need is just a <laughs> spoonful of sugar. I didn't know That's you all you that. need. Wow. And it's good. Wow. So what do we have? Well, we'll start with raspberry ice. Oh, I was hoping. And then <laughs> some corn and maybe coffee. Oh, that, that's 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 good. Mm. Ha have what you will. We're at home. <laughs> There'll be no bill. <laughs> it's complimentary. Uh, but I'm looking at this, and, and 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 you really went to town on this. I can tell that you worked hard. Yeah. Right, and you enjoyed it, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Because in every job that has to be done, <laughs> I know that there is an element of fun. That is so true. And this is all right. Oh, you're making my cheeks hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't it a glorious day? <laughs> <laughs> right as a morning in May. I feel like I could fly. Can I call you Mandy? Oh, you can. <laughs> it's, a, it's a jolly holiday with Mandy. Yes, it is. Mandy <laughs> makes my heart so light. When the day is gray, and ordinary. <laughs> Mandy makes my heart, or is the sunshine bright? Yes, she does. Look at her. Happiness is blooming all around her. <laughs> the daffodils. Have you heard about the daffodils? They're smiling at the dove. When, <laughs> yeah. When Mandy holds my hand, <laughs> I feel so grand. Grand. Confession time. <laughs> My heart. This is true. Starts beating. <laughs> like. It does now. Like, like a big brass band. That's true. By the way, we did not practice this. <laughs> he just said he was going to handle this. <laughs> so, my cheeks hurt and yeah. Brianna's over yeah. there laughing yeah. her head off. Did I do okay? <laughs> you did great. Okay. You, you, you might say that my sweet gentility <laughs> is crystal clear. It's crystal clear. It is. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm, I'm about done though. Oh, there's more? Uh, no, okay. I, 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 I just, I don't you have much more. more. I don't have much more. That's okay. about it. Uh, well. Nothing left to do but go fly a kite. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my word. Okay. okay. I'm, how about I just, let me give you some of this. Please. You can enjoy some of this sorbet here. Yeah, that looks good. It actually looks really good. 
and it is really good. I actually put a little bit too much lemon in it, so it actually tastes a little bit like raspberry lemonade sorbet, but just put a little less lemon in it. Oh, that's a healthy... I put like four drops. That is quite a, a helping there. Look, yeah, it's, look at it's the really size good. of that helping. That's got my mouth hanging open, but I, I need to shut it because I'm not a codfish. That's another one. Wow. Let me try this. Anyway. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, it's really wow. good, I know. That is good. So. That is, that is super cala. Super cala. <laughs> cala for, super cala. I can, how do you, super cala for, You can say it. How do you, how do you. Super califragilistic expialidocious. Splendid, you said it. <laughs> You're such a dork. <laughs> I, I don't have a whole lot more. <laughs> I'm, about, I'm about done. I'm about done. Mm. This is good. See, I, just, I love to laugh. <laughs> Loud and long and clear. Okay, we had to, we had to cut him off. Hopefully, hopefully, he won't try to add any more. But <laughs> we're gonna go enjoy our date now, and have some popcorn and have the rest of the sorbet. But uh, we will see you guys on Tuesday for yeah. Tuesday Night Live. If you want to see us again, and uh, you can tell Rick how much you loved hearing all of his Mary Poppins. Um, <laughs> <laughs> jokes in case well, you couldn't no, tell no, no, no. that was, that, that was that's original from. I'm not scripted you are not <laughs> scripted <laughs> anyway we tried we tried mm. so okay that is it um, next week we're gonna have Patty Alderman from Alderman Farm she's gonna be doing an instapot meal so be Wonderful. looking forward to that and uh, yeah that's it so you guys have a great <laughs> glorious day yes and uh, we'll see you guys next time bye bye Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it because there's way more details there. And uh, here over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by and we'll see you next time. Bye.